both slide up the racetrack and here they come for the white flag one more lap to go and allison has a slight advantage on jared as they hit for turn number one but remember Davey. dale's been going well on the inside and does he have the right line though bob davy allison keeps his car in the middle of the racetrack dale jared's car is on the low side off the 18 degrees of banking, they go down on five degrees of banking, and Dale Jarrett wiggles a little bit as they come out of the second corner. They bump, they touch, they rub, going down the back stretch, side by side, wheel to wheel. Who is it going to be in the Champions Park Club 400? Jarrett has the slight advantage as they go into the third and fourth corners. Davey Allison battles back on the outside. It's going to be a photo finish. They touch, coming down through the trioval at the line. Who wins it? Dale Ooh. Jarrett won it, but it was a photo finish. He didn't win by more than four or five inches. I tell you, fellas. Which is still Kurt Busch. So many emotions going on in that race car right now. White flag, white flag. Let's just ride behind that 30. Just no ride green, white it. checker to worry about. Final lap for Austin Dillon. Earlier just... we saw the focus in the eyes, the concentration with this fast race car around this difficult track. He's going to bring it home. Man, he has just done a great job tonight. Got one more quarter to navigate. It's never over until it's over. Dominant. And the first Nationwide Series win, car three to the checkered flag. Austin Dillon is a Nationwide Series race winner. Here is a battle between Earnhardt and Irwin for the fifth position. And Tony Stewart gets the white. More lap to go. Stewart has a lot of traffic ahead of him, but I don't think it's going to be a factor in the race. They come down the backstretch. Bobby Labonte is still about five or six car lengths behind him. Here comes Tony Stewart off the corner. And in his 25th NASCAR Winston Cup race, Tony Stewart wins at Richmond International Raceway. Becomes the first rookie in Winston Cup racing to win since Davey Allison at Dover. We'll get the white flag this time, and he's got to run. Oh, he's got him loose, coming down. He makes the move on the inside, Mike. Three wide in the start-finish line past Glenn Allen. Dale Earnhardt Jr. into turn one with the lead. Does Nemechek have anything to battle back? What a great job by Earnhardt to get by Nemechek. Got him loose, coming out of the corner, and here comes Elliott Sadler. This isn't over. Sadler underneath Nemechek takes over second spot. The fastest car qualified draws a bead on the new leader. He's gaining, but he doesn't have time, Mike. What a day in history. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will win the Coca-Cola 300. 16 for series start. And here's trouble as we come across the start finish line. Jeff Green is hitting the wall. And what's interesting, that's a Hendrick car running second, that's a Hendrick-related car leading the race, and that's a Hendrick-related car pushing Carl Edwards' white flag this time. Yeah, Carl Edwards from the back all day to the lead with one to go. Three Chevys and one Ford, and it doesn't matter now. Your friends are where you find them. And from oh, hanging out back, Carl Edwards. I'll tell you, I don't know if they can catch them. What we've seen today, two cars get that big a lit run on them. I don't know that the 39 and the 88 can catch them. They're in the draft of Edwards and Keselowski. He's all over you here, just you and him. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. If that nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get them. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keselowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the outside. Is Edwards going to oh, lose? No. He turns it. No. No. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Will become the fifth driver, fifth different driver to win this year, and the fifth different make of car to visit victory lane this year. White flag is out. Harold Kinder has put the white flag on Rusty Wallace. Just a half a lap. He's on the back straightaway. Going in turn three. He can almost smell the checkered flag from here. Off the fourth corner, Rusty Wallace wins the Valleydale 500 and his first Winston 
Cup race ever. He already has his hand outside of the side of the car, saluting and waving. Kyle struggling just a little bit. Here we come to the white flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Side by side at the start finish line. Two miles remain. Can Suarez make it stick? Outside. Outside. Kyle's, Kyle's right there. Suarez is going to bury it down in the corner here. Clear, Daniel. Clear, clear. I think he's clear. He's going to get the position. All clear. Daniel Suarez looking at his first win. Don't you even look in that mirror. Get nope. in this corner right here one more time. That is great advice. Just keep your eyes on the road. Can you hold off one of the best ever in the Xfinity Series and grab your first win on the last lap pass? Kyle Busch has won 80 times in the Xfinity Series, but it's not going to happen today. First time ever for Daniel Suarez. Checkered flag gets it at Michigan. Woo. That, that was exciting. Unbelievable. We got a last lap pass for the win. Fans. Awesome. Woo.